Is this gonna hit? Yes! It's gonna make Plank Walker! Haha, <laughs> we're s No! No, we need to play Undying Pharaoh though! Ah, stealing block meter. No, it's not gonna help. We needed to play Undying Pharaoh, that was the worst thing! That was- wait! Okay, so we have a teleport now. Remove a card! Wait! We need a leap! We need a leap! We need one! Come on! Come on! We need a leap so bad! For the freaking win! For the freaking win! Zelda! What the heck just happened? What in the world is going on cut today? The music. Just cut the freaking music. You guys, I'm about to show you today's stream. This was hands down the best stream we have ever had. This video is listed as a highlight video, not because there's a lot of highlights, not because there's a highlight every game. Every two minutes, there was the mind blowiest, absolutely insane highlights. You guys, if you're gonna watch one video I've made, make it this one. Watch this video and the honest trailer. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. There's no, no need to mess around here. Just roll the intro. Here we go. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, I'm really excited to try this new concept of deck. It's the Conjure Leap deck. So the goal in this deck is to conjure cards that, uh, big cards, uh, that cost less. You're playing them as a discount and then leap them. The way the game mechanics work now, that actually used to be different. I'll explain that later. But uh, if you have a card, let's say, that gets discounted by Buried Treasure, uh, when you fusion something on top of this, it'll conjure a card that costs one less. So let's say you get a five cost card. You will play it for four, but its cost still is five. And if you would actually use Evolutionary Leap, uh, on it. It'll turn it into a six cost card also if you place it in uh, over from turn to turn in a transformation station it'll also turn into a six cost card. So the buried treasure is going to make your conjure card uh, cost less. Uh, if you put Doctor Who on top of a buried treasure it'll cost two less or the Doctor Who his cards himself uh, that he himself conjures will cost less. Um, I think the Barrel of Barrels does have some ex expensive cards. It seems like we get battle cruisers and stuff like that all the time. Uh, the Cosmic Scientist also can conjure. I'd say the science cards kind of check them uh, what all the science cards in the collection are. And they, again, they have a above average cost in terms of conjuring. So that should be enough of that. Running Pogo mixed up Grave Digger for a couple reasons. First of all, I wanted to add some power into this deck. You can't just rely on the strategy. What if they cover your environments? What if you get really bad RNG? Um, but the Pogo mixed up Grave Digger will actually uh, be able to add some extra power to to the deck. It'll also just stall for time to make that you're able to your transformation station can you know transform something again and again, just stalling for time with uh, with them. There's another little strategy in this deck. I feel that um, Brain Vendor is actually a really good deal for Leap because this is a three cost card and essentially from turn three and on it costs nothing. So great card to Leap, great card to play in the transformation station. You can even teleport these in and Leap them. Uh, that should be fine. If you have a uh, if you have a brain vendor on the field and you play mixed up grave digger, it'll stick the brain vendor in the gravestone and out and give you a few extra brains uh, when it pops again when it pops out of the gravestone. So you'll actually be able to play leap or your environment or teleport something in. So uh, there's definitely some synergy there. I can't wait to see how this deck performs. Hope you guys enjoy. Now I think this deck is actually going to be competitive. This is a completely new kind of. I've never been so full. I've done Conjure decks, I've done some Leap decks, they've mostly been RNG. I really have this deck like dead focus uh, that you really need to, you're gonna get a lot of Leap and Transformation Station value. So we're gonna try to keep maybe this environment in our starting hand. Um, Pogo is also very good by the way, it gets a lot of value, protects itself naturally and uh, will will it leaps into a five cost card. So I, this, this deck is like so focused on that. I think this is gonna be pretty competitive to be honest. Yeah, this is a great hand. And HG's power is just going to make it so much better. Yes, yes, yes. Why not interdimensional zombie? You're right. You're right. I should have ran interdimensional zombie in this deck. Ooh, I wonder what to replace. You know what? Let's play a few games. Interdimensional zombie would be amazing. We have the science cards, and it's a one-cost card that turns into a three. So I will I will add in interdimensional zombie into this deck in a couple of games maybe after we get some uh, some recon 
up in here. And we got a really nice environment. This is a two cost that will actually give us a, give us three. Um, we're not going to be able to play Mixed Up Gravedigger the following turn, though. Problem is, this gets scorched on the ground. I think this is what we're gonna do and play and play the environment. Probably, hopefully, one here, one here. I hope he doesn't kill the two one. Yes. So this gets leaped. This gets over here. Amazing. You think the cosmic science is still? Let's play a couple games and see how this. I'm really kind of tryharding today. That turns into a king. Holy smokes! King is gonna be so good, especially with this pogo here. Oh. Because the king's gonna turn things into sevens. How is Solar Flare with three sun gonna be able to remove all that? There's a berry blast. Congratulations. And okay, so this is gonna turn into a knight now. And this is gonna turn into a five cost card. There's no, none of the powers can remove a three five. So this is definitely happening. By the way, the king happens at the end of the turn. Transformation station at the at the beginning of the next turn. So this happens first. Now we have a seven on the field. We're gonna just leap this. There's no point. What is this gonna turn into a five? We're gonna double leap this and get Zombot. What turn is this? this? Is turn four? Turn four guaranteed Zombot. Holy moly! With that, please don't. Uh, please don't lawnmower it. I guess. Are you freaking no? Damn, really? Okay, we're gonna leap the five into a seven now. Oh! <laughs> the one thing. Here's leap. This is a six now. And now it's a seven. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's Garg throwing Garg. So now this is gonna turn into a... What is this deck doing? That was pretty lucky on the king, though. Okay, so now it's a plank walker at the beginning of turn five. Just throw that in there. Hey, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Oh, gondola. Okay, very nice. Uh, we're actually going to protect all this so he doesn't kill it, and the and the plank walker is actually gonna spawn an extra minion! Get that weak stuff out of here! What an amazing first game! I cannot believe that game! I cannot believe it! Wow! 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 That was so freaking harsh! <laughs> he had that lawnmower too, we were gonna get the Zombot on him. Man! 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 That was one of the greatest games of PvZ Heroes ever! That was- that- I am so freaking blown away! Holy moly with that game! Oh. 20 points of luck just for getting that king. And then 5 points of unluck for him actually running on more in his deck. Yep. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, uh, do we keep Pogo against him? I don't think so. Uh, is this gonna be useful? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, happy birthday is correct. So we're gonna play you two and three like this. That was insanity. <laughs> it's not, it's just the, there's just something that felt so consistent there is the thing. Okay, so he mogs Doctor Who. We get cardboard zombie. Great. Merry mother freaking Christmas is right. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna develop this here. Uh, we might end up playing two transformation stations next turn. If he does dickweed, we'll cover it with the freeze. Uh, that's pff, this. Will, <laughs> this is pretty nice. That's a bullseye, by the way. So it doesn't. He keeps on hitting, and it doesn't do anything to their block meter. Uh, I'm gonna cover this immediately. Get that dickweed off the field, keep our guy alive, doing that little bullseye damage. Uh, hopefully we end up with... Yeah, okay, Pogo is good. Ah, Pogo into Mix of Grave Digger, and then we'll start doing the insanity. Ha <sighs> ha! <sighs> 
Uh, one one lock off for cardboard, sure. That sucks. Interesting. Uh, so I believe the electric reed is the one that we bounce here. We're actually gonna conjure. Uh, kind of interesting. We're gonna. Well, actually, maybe I should have gotten rid of it. Oh, it's gonna cost to replay. I think keeping this alive might be good here. Wise old noob, thank you. Happy birthday, Fry. Welcome back. Uh, so Pogo makes some great figures. This will conjure us a new card as well, which is really good. Bits. And we'll either do Gondola next turn or something. Let's check the environments. Mix of Grave Digger is last. Cosmic will conjure there. Oh god. Okay. And this is just the end. Okay, so we're definitely not bouncing this. This will actually give us a lane. Uh, he's gonna be able to replay this anyway. Let's just get rid of his three. Why did he not play that on in the environment though? Oh, because it's gonna get strike through. Thank you so much, wise old noob. Really appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, so we got... Wow. Pretty good. Oops. That disconnected. Here we go. Another mix of Grave Digger? Sure. I am playing Brawl Stars later. I practiced Brawl Stars last night. I... My... I went from low level to at least mid level. I want to really show you guys <laughs> what I've been doing with Brawl Stars. I played a little Stormbound at the end of the stream too, but I was absolutely dominating with Colt and um, and Barley are my two my two mains. Barley's really good. Barley was so Colt is so much harder than Barley. I think before you try try Colt, you should definitely be trying. Barley. Why is this guy with the electric reeds? Really, really. Uh, so they see me damn bouncing. I'm trouncing. This week's the bad. I didn't actually check the things. We're conjuring another card. <laughs> we fun! Okay. It's a bullseye. Uh, that's gotta be lethal. La di da. Alright. Five luck? Why not? Too easy. Go. Highlight. I got Barley. I didn't know that you just have to connect your Brawl Star account. You have to make a Brawl Star account and you get Barley. I had no idea that's how you get him. But uh, he's he's really good and much better for beginner players. Colt's, Colt, I think, has a higher skill cap. Way higher, actually. Okay, so we got one, two, let's keep this. If we get our super, it's going to be ridiculous. We'll have the environment. This will be fine. When is Paladog? Uh, someday. Weed whack. Okay. You know what? The fact that it's not around to use in the Doctor Who is fine. Here's a leaf. This is gonna get ridiculous. I don't even know. I should have gone in four against Rose just to play around the potential. Whoa. Damn. Okay, so this is gonna get frozen now. Interesting. The question is, do we have to start leaping this right now? Maybe we'll we'll leap. It's kind of sad to leap it. Leap and an environment. All right, let's leap environment. It's just because I'm just playing around drinking violet is what I'm doing. Breeze deck with drinking violet. I don't know. Okay, so what's in the box? No! Oh, should have played the environment first. Interesting. Uh, we'll be able to transformation stage. Oh no! Oh, so do you play the environment first? Is there any reason to leap it first? I guess there's not. That's interesting. This is uh, this is something that's like specific to only this deck. Is that you... I'm actually going to do these two. Yeah, 
It's specific to this deck that you always play the environment before leaping. Yes, he covered the environment. Thank you. Now he's gonna try to do this. So there's no reason I should play this environment first. I think I might as well see what I get. In case I get another leap. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, let's go with the environment here. We'll be able to, to leap that again next turn. So this will turn into a five. Firefighter is a good pick up there. I'll give us one point for Firefighter. Just because it's it's just a nice high stat card, not something weak. Happens to be I could have killed something at 3-3 even, but... Okay, so this turns to a 5. There's Viking. We could go mixed up Gravedigger, just to prevent the big removal. Uh, other play is to... I think let's go mixed up Gravedigger, it's a pretty good play. It's gonna be very difficult for our opponent to put a 5, I don't know, something that removes this. Anyway, let's see what happens. It plays around Jumping Beam. It plays around a lot of things. Interesting. But this is gonna do 12 damage and turn this one... We could even block the, the 6 here. Oh, we'll block this one. So that drains the block meter. This will turn into a 6. That's a teleport. Let's gargle it. I think I'll do this, and we'll we'll leave the rest of our options open here. It's gonna be very. We can even just teleport in the one damage, perhaps. Okay, so leaping the leaping this should be fine. Freezing that. We're in great shape. Free. This is such so good around. Um. This is an 8 now. No, 7. Ooh, that's nice. Um. Uh, the play is like this. You gotta move this here. And now we have teleport. I, I couldn't teleport the bullseye in, so I have to go with the Doctor Who, or else it would die to the shooting star. This is usually lethal. Our opponent needs to roll double threes now. There's a two, and there's a one. Got him! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! That's some quick, some quick thinking there. But, uh, alright. Now we're up to 30. Keep it going. Really good, really good pickup. I'm gonna add actually 35, just because the Rodeo Guard was perfect. Just to clear a lane out in order to teleport a guy in. Rodeo is really perfect there. I guess, uh, anyway, probably some other things should've got us. This emotes look like me. Hello. This deck is so insane! I'm just talking competitively! This, this is such a good strat! This is so I don't know, could the interdimensional zombie wouldn't even help this deck? I don't know, would it? Uh, alright, let's play a few more. <laughs> maybe you don't need the, maybe interdimensional zombie's better than the barrel barrels? Um, hmm. Anyway. This is good against Captain C. Alright. Guy. I think let's go back. How you doing? Yeet, welcome. This is the most fun deck, period. This is the one, you guys. The entire PvZ Heroes, everything, it's just all come right down to this. Ha ha ha! How can I not be hyper? No! Damn, son. I think I'm gonna go with this. A brain vendor would be cool. Uh, let's do this. Hopefully he doesn't have the removal. That was a berry blast. And uh, maybe leap this. Ah, oh, you're so annoying. Pogo will be Pogo will be quite good though. Um so do I burn a teleport? No. Pogo's gonna be amazing. Look at this! Pogo right in this environment. This is such amazing synergy. He has to cover the environment here. It was Meteor last turn? That was Berry Blast. Anyway. Got him. Okay, so this is two damage, turns into a five. Amazing. What's in the box? Uh, surprise guard. Not very good actually, but <coughs> it'll be fine.
Um, the play, I could go Pogo here. Pogo's probably the most solid. If I wanted to get super greedy, I could go Teleport Brain Vendor Leap or Transformation Station. You can't really remove this card. You know what? Let's get greedy. Let's get greedy. Yep. There's Lily. He's gonna complete. Wow. So it's teleport. Brain vendor. Uh, let's leave this one because it'll probably improve a little bit more. That turns into a four. There is freaking whoa! Yes, bye Lily, see you later! <laughs> wow, that was so good! That was so good! <laughs> now this is turning into a five and a six. La di da di da 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 Get that weak stuff. Oh hello Viking. And we are protected! <laughs> Best one! We're going with Pogo Leap, you guys! That's the play. Pogo hits first, Viking drains the brains. This deck is so good! I can't even- I cannot- I do not know what's going on! This is not just an RNGs deck! This is the best strat! This is so freaking good! I'm sorry. I'm just ranting. I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. It, this seems like this wonky strategy that's never gonna work. It's worked every single game in one way or another. We have leaped to freaking victory. You don't even need, oh man. You don't even need Nebula to leap, by the way. That's things that always been my mistake. That's a great hand. Give me super. Nope. We're gonna go with this. If that draws out, again, that absorbs his superpower. So freaking be it. That's fine. Yeah. Solar Flare Super is very good here, actually. <laughs> Jesus, who? That's pretty good. We get double Doctor Who's. We don't even have to leap the Doctor Who's at all, by the way. Don't nerf this deck, please. Fairy Blast? Oh. Oh. Man. Fairy Blast would have killed that. That would have been huge, actually. Would have been huge. So our opponent does not have super, so we're gonna go with this. We'll either go with the transformations, with the environment, or with the deadly, depending on what he plays. And looks like it's gonna be the environment. We're gonna we're gonna conjure now two cards that are discounted. We're basically gonna just make a play and use the environment now. We have to get something expensive here. These are gonna be doubly discounted. I forgot about the double Doctor Who, the fact that they stack. That's fine. So this actually bounces. This is not good because this bounces before um, the transformation station happens. That's okay. This is okay. There's a buried treasure. So I'm gonna go with buried treasure. I'm gonna go with this one cost card. This actually conjures cards, which is cool. Uh, that's a four cost pharaoh. This is a one cost imp. <laughs> Pretty damn good, sons. Uh, I think we just go with transformations. It's transformation station right now. Uh, actually, no. Scorch is so freaking good here. Ooh, I probably should have just played another card actually, since this dies very often. A little bit of heal. Okay, let's deadly this one up. Trash. One, one cost trash, pretty good. Uh, Scorch. A weed Whack also actually prevents this from happening. So annoying. Okay, so now we're gonna start leaping these, I suppose. Ooh, that's not very good. Oh, Mixed Up Grave Digger. Mixed Up Grave Digger. Do we have anything free? It would be nice. We could go for three and two here. Let's go Mixed Up Grave Digger and then let's do that next turn. Briar Rose would suck here. But we let's let's get this. Let's get these Doctor Who's from zeros to something here. What's Bob again? Uh oh. 
That's a problem. We don't have a good way of dealing two damage either. This is beginning to actually be a very big order. Two more hits of this like that. I'm dying Pharaoh might end up being like really good. Rocket science. Really don't have a way through here. Let's see if we can get something. A rocket science would be ridiculous here. Free cost gondola? All right. What's Bob? What's Bob? Oh, barrel barrels. Maybe. With interdimensional zone, but you're probably right. It adds a little more tempo here, too. We're actually gonna lose! Bra freaking Vo! With the sun strike. Oh no! Block! Yes! Oh, we alive, ladies and gentlemen. We very much alive. Uh, okay. Is this gonna hit? Yes! It's gonna make Plankwalker! Haha, <laughs> we're s No! No, we need to play Undying Pharaoh, though! Ah, stealing block meter. No, it's not gonna help. We needed to play a dying fair. That was the worst thing. That was wait. Okay, so we have a teleport now. Um, our opponent needs to remove one of our cards. Please do that. Please, please remove a card. Please remove one of our cards. We need you to. It needs to be one of these two. Remove a card. Remove a card. Wait! We need a leap! We need a leap! We need one! Come on! Come on! We need a leap so bad! For the freaking win! For the freaking win! Zappa! What the heck just happened? What in the world is going on today? I can't even believe this! I cannot even fathom what in the world is going on here how in the world holy moly with this entire thing with this entire piece of garbage that's guaranteed lethal that is guaranteed lethal why why <laughs> I, that that what, yeah. This is the best stream! This- we actually didn't lose that game! I was like, ah, oh, we're for sure gonna lose. I- I can't. I- I'm seriously- okay. I'm adding 30 points of luck there, first of all. I- I- <laughs> This is so crazy! This is so insane! Holy moly! With everything here! With everything! What this this whole thing is a high I'm gonna make this entire stream into just th this will be the next epic moments video. This is so ridiculous. This is so stupid. Wow, I have to just uh, I'm just gonna keep writing these highlights down. I can't even describe that one. Too many things happened there. Okay. Whew. Interdimensional zombie, you think, in this deck instead of this card? Probably. At this point. See, if that had been an interdimensional zombie, it would have made this hand a lot better. Uh, okay. I wonder if the environment... I don't think so. It's too weak to spike weed set. Actually, uh... Alright, so let's play this here. Let's play this here. <laughs> you got the 5,000 sparks. <sighs> so you get second Trickster, third Valk, second Gravedigger, first Briar Rose, first Pine Clone. 
Think first, Pine Club? Depends really what kind of decks you want to run. Okay, guys. Calm down. Don't want to have a heart attack. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh, final mission could be good. I'm gonna go with this. You can actually final mission and play the trick, play an environment or something. If not, the pogo will get us next turn. Final mission doesn't work anymore. Hmm. This is a weird play. I think we'll do it like this now. <clears throat> and accumulate some teleports. I would have went 10 and. Oh, I don't even need the Lux card. I'm gonna need some ketchup here. And thank you so much, Dias Mio Away. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Third month in a row. Moving that. Nah. These two trade. That doesn't even matter. That's fine. Goodbye. Um, so we can do some kind of leap. Deadly play in lane four. That's very treasure. So these three are good, and we have we have a teleport, which is really useful. So it's leap deadly for sure. Other play is teleport. These three, so our opponent doesn't heal. Where do you get this from? Photosynthesizer. Huh. Teleport. Three. Four, five. It's not bad. We can always leave. What's in the box? Another transformation. Oh, rocket. <laughs> uh, rocket seems good. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this turns into a three. Very nice. Turn oh, nice. We don't even want to leap this now. That's a four four. Even though this deck ISNT the zero to ten dream, it's still really fun. I run a similar deck in. Cool. The highlights are basically the same. Hashtag charity. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna go with this and leap something. <clears throat> Thank you so much, wise old name again. Am I gonna use money on Brawl Stars? No, I'm gonna free to play. I'm doing really well free to play. It's no point. Okay, so this can get bounced. And we can leap the pogo. <laughs> He's just throwing stuff. La -dee -da. Goodbye. Uh, we'll leap the pogo. We definitely could use a leap. This is not anyway. Oh, interdimensional zombie is so good. Uh, five points because it's just gonna buff everything even after they get leaped. That is insane. And why not? Why not at all? That that'll do five to face now. Or proc the block. One of the two. That's actually big enough to kill that primal walnut now. Amazing. It's Doctor Who. Firefighter is gonna get this. Thank you very much. I'll take that back. <laughs> uh, I think we. <laughs> yes! Every game has been the highlight of the freaking century. What is happening to this game? We broke the game, by the way. We absolutely broke this game in half with this deck. This is so ridiculous. This is so crazy. <laughs> um, Alright, you know what? Since we're doing really well, since we're doing amazing, 
Let's just try to make the deck a little bit better now. We're gonna get rid of the Barrel of Barrels and add in uh, Interdimensional Zombie. I believe this is correct. Again, we do have removal with the Pogo. This does cut down on the removal a little bit, but uh, I, I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, let's, let's, let's just go. I'll redo the deck list here. <sighs> just cause science. Here we go. Uh, well, this plays well around Spikeweed. I guess I'll get rid of you. Yeah, uh, we'll do this right here. Uh, what's this? Did I, did I, did I do the deck list yet? Go, 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 go. Where's the HG? Uh, oh, I'm just updating the deck list. You know what I'm doing. There we go. Uh, as if the deck needed needed to get any better. There is the new version. Oh, interesting. Our opponent got rid of Forget Me Nuts for this. Hmm. You know what? If we would have had that leap still, it would have been good. Okay, let's still plays around Dickweed very nicely. Bad Moon Rising in this deck? Oh. We can do these two next turn. Should I play this? No, let's save it. Let's go. Let's go. <coughs> Oh. This is really nice, actually. This is super nice, because now we can freeze an environment. We can freeze Leap if we want to. There's Valk. <laughs> this should be a fun play. There's n The environments can't take this out. I don't know what our opponent can play on three that would counter this. It's probably... If something big, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, first play the environment. We've learned our lesson here. I could leap and then play. No, you can't play Leap Transformation Station anyway. And then leap it. Cosmic. Conjures a new card. Interesting. Hmm. Piano. Not great. It would have been nice with something with a little more attack. A lot of strike through there. Mix up Gravedigger might be good. Actually, we can't mix up Gravedigger. So we'll go with uh, Pogo. Mm, it's nice. We'll keep this alive. It'll actually conjure another card if we mix up Grave Digger next turn. Yep, you get him bounced anyway. Keep spending your sun investing it in here. That's fine. This is easily um, counterable. What does he have? Protect? Mog? Oh, he's gonna Mog this one? Not a good play. It's definitely mixed up Grave Digger coming up. This Valk might end up being really good. We have teleports in this deck. I don't know how many games it's been. It's been a, it's been a freaking landslide. That's what it's been. Okay, there's a walnut. Congratulations. He's gonna get a banana bomb. Kind of want to kill this sooner than later. Got damage. <clears throat> so we're gonna have Pogo mixed up Grave Digger here. <laughs> this interdimensional zombie. I, you know he's gonna be good on one. He's also gonna be good as a supplement on later turns, just to play him like next turn. With, we can even play him with piano or something. Okay, let's check these. Grave Digger's in one, which is nice. Pogo and Cosmic. And this will conjure a new card. B flat is a dancing trick, yeah. Uh, does it make a different? It will make a difference for Headhunter, I think. That'll activate. It's hardly ever use. I used to use this in Control Boogaloo. It's hardly relevant anymore. Alien News has kind of made this obsolete. Alien News and cheap, crazy environments. And just, dude, you know I have a pogo in here. You know that. I'm actually doing it like this. It doesn't kill this. It does four damage to our face. It does two to this one. It does not kill this guy. 
I don't want him replaying this because I actually don't have an answer to it next turn. Except for, I guess Piano would have been an answer. I forgot he's not going to have a guy in the field. Uh, he could have still played it together with a one drop. Piano would have been the answer. Piano will probably anyway be good this turn. You know what? That was still worth it because they'll play an expensive card and I'll just piano it. So let's save, I think let's save big money for piano here. There's another mixed up grave digger. Hmm. Is that about two in piano? Piano should be amazing here. All right, and we'll do this. Just play slightly more around the, the shrinking violet. Hello, Magosa. Yeah, this is the best. This is the best stream so far. Uh, we have another option here too. Probably just piano. It's not going to be expecting piano. Come on, one big card. Let's go. Just body gorge, bird of paradise. Another star fruit. On the empty field, as someone who's clearly shown some late game. Ooh, boop. This is like after five games, we're at 100 luck. You don't understand. I'm gonna make an intro to this video, ranting and raving. It's gonna be insane. I know exactly what I'm gonna do already. This is so great. Okay. Ooh. Piano not getting it done. Oh, we can't even do it. <laughs> okay. Ouch. That's annoying. Oh, we'll develop it. Ooh. That was a great play. Played around the piano very well, and he killed this one. Here's a Valk. Five, six, seven. We'll save the teleport for the Valk for sure. <laughs> Is Jesse good in Brawl Stars? Haven't used her yet. Not up to that level. Oof. Now the piano's good. Really? No, oh, that's so much damage. Wow, that's good. <sighs> really? Blob? trouble here. This Valk is kind of ridiculous. Actually, it's just Pogo teleport Valk. Not even difficult. The Valk works in either one of these lanes since there's strike through. Nah, we're gonna win here. Actually, no, the free cancel doesn't work here. Well, we can Pogo this one. There's so many things happening here, actually. Because we can always Pogo the Melon. We can Pogo lane one and win there with teleport. This Valk costs two, by the way. Because it was from buried treasure. Brainana would well Brainana, we uh we would lose to Brainana, you're right. Nope. Nope. Guaranteed lethal. Mirror nut. We would be able to bounce the mirror nut in lane one though. Why is the Valk's cost not green? I don't know. You're right, I don't know. That's guaranteed lethal. Play is of course this. Teleport. <laughs> He's at eight health. He's like, yeah, what is he gonna have? You're dead. <laughs> that was actually close. That was actually close, you guys. Oh. 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 Okay, well, 30 points of luck just for getting Valk there. Pretty good. <laughs> what? Yeah, we, we've seen as many electric raids today in the stream as we have the entire 2018, I think. He's <sighs> like, where did that belt come from? This guy's hacking. Oh, man. This is 
This is becoming approaching the point of just being sad. I don't know about this mixed up grave digger. Uh, this is not good unless we get a leap too. Yeah, we need some kind of. There we go. <laughs> that works. We're out, we're gonna go with this instead of the guy, which is such a weird play. But this turns into a three and then into a four next turn. This isn't just lucky though. The deck strategy has been spot on game after game after game. I thought it would, could work, but I really earnestly did not think it would be this consistent. Please play Dickweed. So this is a four now. This is going to be a three. Yes, it's the best three too. <laughs> just add two points. Why not? Just add them in. So that's extra damage this turn and it turns into a four drop, which might not even be as good as a four four. Exploding it would have been the worst. Parasol, perfect, perfect. Wow. Uh, so we're just gonna protect things and leap this one, I guess. Yep. We'll just have that nice and protected here. <laughs> it makes it not able to hammer this or whatever. Remove it. I don't know what he's gonna do. That's interesting. Nah, it's not gonna get three attack. This is fine. So that turns into a five. Oh look! Oh now it wins! Now we win the trade! <laughs> I can't! Oh, that's 20 points! We win the trade in lane three now! What is going on? I what in the heck is going on? What in the world? <laughs> there's I'm sure there's more fives that could have actually solved that issue there. Okay, that's nice. So this turns into wizard. <laughs> a wizard, Harry! Um, so we're gonna go with... Oh, what do we even do here? These are th free three twos, just saying. One. Two, three. I think let's... Let's... Let's do this and just see what happens. What do we get out of here? That's a one. We, uh, so we can go this one and leap something. Probably leap the wizard. This will turn into a seven. <laughs> we are protected! This will turn into a seven and then into an eight. This is turn four, by the way. Just <laughs> guess what turn it is. <laughs> it's turn four. Okay. Hmm, question is, what do we leap? I don't know about leaping this. I don't feel like I want to put too many, too many bunions in one onion. Because uh, he, he could have just some removal. Oh, there's a mix of grave digger. It's a 4-4, four, four. heal our face. <laughs> Were we damaged? What damaged us? I don't even remember. Oh no, he healed the imp, sorry. The imp was the thing. We, we were at 20 health, so this is a 3-4 now. Very nice, there's a Garg throwing Garg. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. And uh, we can always teleport things in now with the teleportation zombie or the teleport. Okay. This is turn five. He comes into turn five looking at this mess of a field, already having used his signature. Um, teleport, see what's in the box. Leap. This is a Zombot next turn, by the way. And it's an Octave Zombie, very nice. And we'll teleport in a... Actually, we want to kind of want to mix up Gravedigger next turn. This will be a fusion for next turn. Interesting calculation here. So this is 3-9. Uh, and then we have four hour- Ah, uh, yeah, it's Garen's Weevil. <laughs> didn't even need it. Didn't even need it, folks. And, okay, so that's, uh, 20 more points of luck. la di da di da This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous. Hello, Luke the Baller. You have sparks. 
You have all the good legendaries. You're gonna craft Cobb Cannon and your final Sunflower Seed. However, I don't want to do them. If the balance changes end up happening, to uh, the balance changes end up happening, you'll be able to recycle the cards. I would say Cobb Cannon's gonna be fine after the balance change too. I think uh, Sunflower Seed, if you if you craft them, they, when they nerf cards, you're able to uh, recycle them for their cost. This works. That's a great, great thing. Let's do this. The super says it's totally fine. I, I don't know what we are right now. Now the exception is sometimes they'll a card will get nerfed because a different card that it relies on gets nerfed. Um, like Banu Rising was not recyclable for its entire cost, even though Nebula got nerfed, which kind of messed that up. Um, oops. Did he draw cards? No. Oh, he did. He has six. No, no, he didn't like a play. So it's definitely not Holoflora. It's a super maybe would have used. I'm gonna go with this. We're kind of just playing around Scorch. I guess doing this anyway would have been good on Scorch though. We should have played this on Heights. Uh, I guess that wasn't a good play. Uh, miscalculation. Alright, let's see what's in the box. Seven cost, uh, six cost playing blocker. <laughs> yes! Oh, okay. That's doable. Uh, I think the environment plus the leap should be fine. What do we leap, though? Hello, Migman Jellies. We'll just decide. This should have gone on heights, though. That was a mistake. The right play last turn was Doctor Who and one. Interesting. Good is what do we leave? Is turning Doctor Who. Hmm. I think turning this into a four is probably better. Draw major. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's what happens when Fry sleeps. Well, I actually didn't sleep well last night. Surprise. Interesting. Let's go with you. You. Now we have teleportation. Yes! Wow. So it's teleport, raptor, environment. Perfect! Uh, maybe Raptor Teleport Environment would have been better to increase its attack. Nah. Look fine. There you go. Teleport. Mix of Gravedigger happens next turn into Plank Walker. Yep. I wonder if we should environment here, just to just to pad the mix of Gravedigger next turn. I think we do, actually. There we go. Raptor's a good draw there. I don't know, I'll just add two points for Raptor. I'm just totally I'm going a little crazy here. Am I getting for Christmas some Frime Up t-shirts and sweatshirts? There's actually a link to them below. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit there. That's why I haven't started really mass advertising yet. That gross. Is mixed up Grave Digger even good here? I'm just gonna have to remove this somehow. It's so good because it just protects everything. Yeah, it's worth it. It just stalls for this plank walker. If something dies here, it's actually fine because the plank walker is just so good in lane five. Something's gonna die in lane one probably, unless it's Doctor Who. That's why would you put it in the lane with the strike through though? This was literally the worst lane. Of wow, not bad. Good thing we have this plank walker now. Really, <laughs> Doctor Who lives. So these two trade. Huh? Raptor dies. 
And conjures a card, though. The conjured card will actually be cheap. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one cost ghost? Here is turn six Plank Walker. It'd be nice to teleport it in. This is fine. Whee! <laughs> Here we go! This has strength there, so I might as well just. Ah! Uh, and Viking, not bad. And just some heat. Perfect. And we'll be able to do something with that uh, sugary treat actually coming up. Probably not going to have that much big removal here. I guess some catch-up mechanics would be pretty harsh. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? <laughs> Since when did Plank Walker cost six? I wasn't ready for that. Uh-oh. So he's going with heal. He's going on Onion Ring's heal deck. So he's trying to kill the Viking, which still actually destroys all this. Ugh, that's so much healing, though. Okay. So those two trade. Ah, that loses that matchup. This hits seven for phase. And here's another six. Mixed up Gravedigger would be good here just to spawn this again. <sighs> this ghost is so good! That's a good ghost. Before he heals, we definitely gotta kill that. I'm gonna teleport this one in and sugar retreat. This should be fine. Dead ghost was great there! Just to, because, again, he probably has some kind of three points. Just because he probably has some kind of heal to buff that, and we can just nip that. If, usually you want your, your things to be reactive. That's the one situation where it can very easily, low maintenance, grow a card out of one health. That, that, that is insane. Ghost was very good. Alright, more points for the ghost. We're up to 180, guys. Okay. Captain Cucumber. Let's add some health here, too. Let's see what happens. Very Chedro overrated. Not in this deck. Not in this deck. This Plankwalk, he probably doesn't have an answer to this. What Chomzilla is at four. There's no way to answer Plankwalker now. Just saying. This is lethal just right here. Hammer time. Well, we can teleport something in. Teleport. It's guaranteed lethal already. La di da di da. <laughs> Yeah, this will be... No! <laughs> He's like, he has to have any minion. <laughs> Alright. We're up to 190. <laughs> I can't, you guys. I can't. I absolutely can't. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just sort of ranking some cups and stuff. This is nice. I wonder if two leaps is overkill. Maybe it's not. Because we'll almost for sure get something. He'd have to play some kind of P. Who knows what we'll get out of the power, too. Super. Uh Otto, try to calm down. You are spamming a lot and you're being pretty aggressive. Just just calm down. Okay? Thank you. These one cost leaps will be nice. I wonder if we play this a little later though. I think we do. Well, yeah. Let's conjure this card and then play this later. <laughs> Probably not gonna answer this. If he answers it, uh, that became a lot worse now. There's another one. He's gonna have another one? Alright, now. Why am I running Brain Fender? It's very good to leap, and it's very it's very good to combine with leap. That's the basic reason. Should have maybe just put this on one. Hmm, don't have like, really experience starting with this right now. It could be just environment. Let's 
do this. I should have super done one, you're right. I was getting way too greedy because I thought the card that we conjured from that would be doable. Okay, so we're we're in we're in just fine shape right now. That Prime Father is a little bit harsh, but kind of happy that was the play. We just need a minion of the sorts. It's a grave again. Team mascot, perfect. Stormbound's a new card game. I don't even know if I'll get to that now. I should have super done one. Ugh. Yes. Do we wait? Does this graveyard help us? I don't like it this. I got a black IP lives now. Four. Bam. Major. Pretty major job major. This can be played here. Chump champion. Oh. Okay. Ah. Playing is so slow. Clank? Hmm. If I had a list in front of me. How many things actually solve this problem? There are several things, actually. There's... Okay! Okay! Okay. Chump Champion might be good. So interesting. Battle Cruiser would have been good, Wizard would have been good. Um, I think there's other things too. That's a lot of damage there. Double leap here, I think. Probably just chump leap, actually. I know this is a sports zombie. Alright, let's do it. Like actually, we need that to trade. Well, we can leap this one. Okay. Leap to flamenco. Uh oh. Get a, we're probably gonna use both of these. If we get a teleport, we'll be able to teleport this one in. Pogo! Viking. Actually prevent the damage now. Ouch! Oh, it hurts. This could be lethal, actually. Guy! Yep, so that prevents this damage. <laughs> Clank. This 
smart plays, though. Teleport would be nice. There's Pogo. This Chump Champion is interesting. Alright, so let's go with the Pogo. We don't want him to hit to evolve this, though. It's only five. Should be okay. It's a lot of damage, too. Hmm. What? What was that? Actually, maybe not giving him this back is correct. This is gonna clear his click peas. All plants get minus one. Destroy plants. This is gonna clear his click peas, you guys. Oh! Why did he plant food there? Yeah, at least I'm here. So this is a sports evolution now. So it does kill these. The question is, what are, are we going to follow with Pogo? Or do we play around bonus attack? I think this is the play. So these two die. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure it's Pogo. Just because we're so aggressive in terms of how much damage we're doing with this bullseye, the Pogo will probably make us win here. There's a click P. And he's gonna play the guy on top of it. Just crazy plays! You're not playing around Pogo now? Really? Goodbye. So we sometimes win. We need double ones. One and one. <laughs> I totally broke it in half. I, I can't. I can't. Okay, last game, guys. Last game. Last game. This is. This is. I. I can't even. I. I. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do today. Oh. What's my favorite zombie legendary here? Let me look at this deck. Uh, interdimensional zombie. Right now, can't think of anything else. I cannot believe this. This is amazing! Super on one, by the way. Ooh, okay. We need some kind of leap for this to be good. I'm actually getting rid of that one. There you go. They can always try teleportation station. Maybe I should have gone with this, actually. And then done these two. Hmm. That would have been better. buy a lottery ticket this 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 deck it, we're not just getting lucky though this deck is genuinely very good we go to the station come on fireworks come on fireworks <laughs> blind dancing zombie wouldn't be bad either and <laughs> non fireworks interesting so we have a teleport now Go with you. Trickster. Trickster is gonna be good, you guys. I'll leave something, I guess. Friendlies. I kinda wanna show you guys Stormbound. Hammer. Nice play. We're gonna Pogo mixed up Gravedigger. Let's let's cycle for a bit. Pogo's quite good. This is one hundred thousand percent going to YouTube. I'll probably upload this immediately after the stream. 
That's how quickly you will end up on YouTube. That's a good flick. Ooh, and hammer. Okay. Gonna take it slow. Pretty sure it's Pogo here. Brain Vendor mixed up Gravedigger Leap. Do that next turn. Can actually Brain Vendor Doctor Who mixed up Gravedigger Leap or something like that. Not a great hammer. It's, it's, all, it's not something like that. Interesting. I'll get rid of this. It gives him their environment. It's so expensive. Though. He basically has to. Get it. <laughs> Wee. I'm sorry. It's just Brain Vendor mixed with Grave Digger Leap. Can Leap the Pogo? Pretty good. Another bounce. Amazing! Amazing. <laughs> Another one. The whole thing is just gonna be sad. Oh, do I wanna leap this again? Or do I wanna just make the trade? It's th it's minus three actually. I feel like whatever we leap this into, it's probably going to end up with minus three attack anyway. So let's leap lane one. This is also good to have around. Kids get the grave digger. Tomb Razor! Okay, okay. So we'll see if this hits. It does. Let's see what's in the box now. <laughs> Whoever knew Tomb Razor could contribute to the cause. It's just Congo. Congo will combine to kill the. <laughs> this is so sad though. It's just going to have. We don't have any environments. Hmm, this is becoming a problem. <laughs> there you go. Kanga, kanga, kanga. Finally, this thing's dead. <laughs> this will proc the block. Uh, so we have proc the block, trickster. In fact, that tomb, that tomb razor dying was great. Kanga was good because it just killed that freaking sap. The man is sappy. Okay. I think we'll mix up grave. Mix up grave digger is not bad. I think let's just get the trickster in while we can. We're not necessarily gonna have the lane for it later. So let's do this. We can always mix up grave digger next turn. He's not gonna consider like the pogo a threat or anything. Yeah, I know. The floor is sappy lava. I'm a slithery little snake. Interesting. So we have no plays next turn. No? He's not killing anything, too. Smartly. Zappa! Leap! Leap is- or tr tr station is good. We're gonna burn this teleport. Oof. Leap or station. Let's go. Teleport's just fine. Hope we remove something, actually. Wonder if teleport makes up Gravedigger as the player. Maug? Like a frog. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Gladiator sometimes is amazing. Okay. Station! Oh. We're in some doo doo right now. We are in doo. -doo. Do this just for the conjure. Give me something good. I suppose we can teleport this in and it'll draw us a card. We can also make some gravedigger for another card. This will only have one attack though, actually, so it won't draw us a card. Uh it's mug. This is fine. This will conjure us another card. It'll refresh the health of this. Lane one's gonna go down. One, two of these other lanes are gonna go down. So this kind of neutralized. We're at 20 health, so we've got plenty of time. 
Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> so cool. So cool. Oh, Doctor Who was first. This gets discounted. Oh. Uh, I think we keep the teleport now. He need, need to roll all ones in order to win here. One, two, three. No, it's impossible. Look! This will be very good next turn. This will be exceedingly good next turn. Just to just to give strike through and give him a turn here. He's done a strike through anymore, of course. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's just play. I think we're doing this one. We'll teleport this one. Headhunter strike through. The frenzy's actually gonna kill him. Four and four. We really want the bullseye. Is this five damage? This usually wins. Because four plus four wins here. Our opponent, we need to roll a three and a two. It's not too unlikely. Oh no, he's bullseye! Oh no, he's bullseye! I forgot! I forgot he's bull. No, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Right. Thanks, guys. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Because his whole thing, he's frenzy too, so his icon disappears. He came, of course, he came from the cosmic scientist. And we win the game. <laughs> Alright, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a very serious evaluation of today's stream. <laughs> wow, that was close. Seriously, 300 to 6. That is seriously 300 to 6. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I guess the gondola was BM there at the end. <laughs> I, was, I forgot about it. It was Bullseye. This was the best stream of PvZ Heroes ever. Easily. We're, we're two years into it. Who knows if they're going to be adding content. This was, the, this was an idea we got from doing some other huge Giganticus deck. And we saw, like... There was a little synergy between Doctor Who and Leaping and Buried Treasure and decided to just go all out today. I, I just hope you guys enjoyed. This will probably be an epic moment. I'm going to keep putting this in the epic moment videos just because every single game, every single game was one of the greatest highlights of 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is Fry.